Nubia has made a lot of headlines with the introduction of the Red Magic 11 Pro, mainly because of the water cooling feature that's being advertised. But they've certainly carved out their own niche within the community. However, today, I'm here to argue that you should not be purchasing this device with the idea that this blue water cooling loop feature will keep your device more cool than if it did not have one. No. I highly recommend that you buy this phone because it does not have a hole in the display for the front facing camera. I highly recommend that you buy the phone because it's launching with the best smartphone chipset around. And I would even understand wanting to buy it because it has dust and water resistance, even with the built in fan that's keeping it actively cooled. Hell. Buy the Red Magic 11 Pro because you think this blue liquid cooling loop actually just looks cool. Just don't buy it with the impression that this specific feature, the blue water that you see circulating here, is what will keep your phone more cool than the built-in fan that it already has. And it definitely won't keep it cooler than a properly attached external cooling fan. Let's talk about why. For a water cooling loop to work in a PC, you need liquid to help disperse the heat and a pump to push that liquid around the loop. And Nubia has done a good job of showing us that the liquid is actually moving in the Red Magic 11 Pro. But you also need a way of cooling that water off or else you're just cycling through warm or hot water as it's never had a chance to cool off. In a PC, they use these really big radiators to help spread that heat out and then cool it off with cool air that's usually coming in from the front of the case. These radiators usually consist of many sheets of metal, typically referred to as fins, and that constant flow of cool air does the work to cool off that hot liquid. But think about how you hold a phone during those long gaming sessions. And Red Magic devices have the built in fan pulling in air from the bottom side so that it can push out that hot air from the top side. So the air that it has access to is usually already warm because it's near your body or even your hand and possibly even the breath that you just exhaled. But we have yet to see a radiator in the Red Magic 11 Pro that would indicate this water cooling loop can actually be effective. At best, you're getting access to an additional layer that is helping to spread the heat out from the chip itself, but in actuality, it's not going to be pushing the heat far enough from the chip to actively cool it better than the built-in fan that it already has. And that's even before we get into talking about the air bubbles that Nubia is using to actually illustrate that liquid is moving around in the loop. Since air bubbles are something you actively want to avoid when building a custom water loop for PCs because it reduces the cooling effect that the water loop actually has on the device. I hope this video hasn't come across as too negative because I do appreciate the work that Nubia has done to help progress the Android gaming community. I just don't see this specific water cooling loop if you want to call it that, since it doesn't have a traditional radiator, I just don't see it as something that adds a lot of functionality. So I would consider it a gimmick at best, but you can see how some people would think that it will keep their phone 200% or 300% more cool than the Red Magic 10 series, because it's the built-in fan that they've been using for generations that's actually helping to keep these phones cool not a new cooling system with air bubbles being pumped through the system.